Blazers lead it 24 to three. They're showing blitz. Hand off to Michael up the middle. Michael to 40. Boys attack with the 50. At the 40. At the 30. Michael to 15. 10, 5. Touchdown. Michael Terry for 69 yards. The second 60 plus run of the game. Other one 56 after this 69. 96. Blue rally. The David Dean Show, your weekly look at Valdosta State University Blazer football with head coach David Dean. Brought to you by Anheuser-Busch, saluting America's designated drivers. Responsibility matters. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right in Valdosta, Nashville, and Thomasville. Houston Orthopedic Hospital and Houston Sports Medicine Center. Your Metro Valdosta State Farm Insurance Agents. And by Coca-Cola, make it real. Here's your host, Dick Rocky, along with head coach, David Dean, and a look at this week's Blazer football action. Hello and welcome to the David Dean Show. I'm Dick Rocky along with the head coach. Homecoming 2007, the Blazers come away with a 31-3 victory over Wachita Baptist. And Coach Dean, who is this second half Blazer football team? They scare us in the first half and then an the offense gets things rolling and uh, put some points on the board in the second half. I don't know, but we got to find a way to start playing better in the first half. I, I thought our defense played very, very well in the first half, kept us in the ball game. Way too many blown opportunities offensively. We had a chance to to really go up probably 24 to three at the half and, and did not do it, and that was disappointing. Coach, uh, I was looking at stats. Uh, had nothing else to do last night, so I was looking at stats. Rushing 224 yards per game through four games, passing for 254. You've passed it 151 times. You've rushed it for 153 times. Great right. balance. We and that was a. A thing that we wanted to do this year as an offensive staff, we wanted to create some balance where you couldn't load up on our screen game or our pass game. And fortunately for us right now, our offensive line has accepted that challenge. We've got running back by committee. Each one of those guys is doing a great job when they get the ball in their hands. Michael Terry, 108, almost 109 yards per game, had two long runs. We'll get to see here in just a moment. And another second week in a row, he's had big rushing yardage. Well, you can see Michael Terry getting better and better each week. Early in the season, uh, what he was not doing was breaking tackles and making people miss, and now he's doing that. And he's turning those 10-yard gains now into 40-yard and, and uh, long touchdown runs. I never thought we'd be sitting here talking about rushing so much. You'd rush for 300 yards in Saturday's game. Well, that's great for <laughs> us. Like I said, our offensive line did a good job, and if we can do that, we can control the clock and have a chance to win every week. All right, Coach, we'll take a break and look at first half highlights in just a moment. You need but one number to win. Win up to $100,000 every four minutes. See how at GALottery.com. Tina! What makes the world's perfect beer? Start with the choicest hops and the best barley malt. Then Beechwood age it for that crisp, clean taste. Finally, throw in a football and 60,000 friends. The taste that makes it game day. The perfect balance of flavor and refreshment. Budweiser, open up a world of taste. I'm a cancer survivor, and I know this makes a difference in the way I care for my patients. It helps me understand what they're going through. For over 20 years, I've watched the Perlman Cancer Center grow. We offer the same technology as many of the larger cancer centers. And that's important when our patients and families are making their choice where to have their treatment. I'm convinced bigger isn't always better. At South Georgia Medical Center, you'll receive more personalized care here than anywhere else. In each of us, there is a hero, a champion, a legend waiting to happen.
This is no ordinary museum. The College Football Hall of Fame in South Bend, Indiana. The David Dean Show is also brought to you by the Blanton and Griffin Insurance Agency, Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar, Wholesome Business Systems, and by Farmers and Merchants Bank. Coach, homecoming 2007, you and I talked about it a couple times during the week. You don't, you like homecoming, but it's hard on the football team and the coaches. Had a great crowd of almost 6,000. You did the Blazer Walk, and we said it was better than the first one. It was just a great atmosphere out there. It was. It was. I, we appreciate everybody coming out, and it was a loud, uh, boisterous group. The band was there, the cheerleaders, the, the Red Hots, everybody was there. and. Uh, most importantly, all the tailgaters were there. Tim Harris was there with his horn and his siren, and it was blasting, and it, that was great. It was just a great atmosphere to start off the day. It's fun to get a day started off when the kids normally just walk in the back gate, and next thing you see them, they're on the field, and I think they get to see what's going on out there, and people, people are there, and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, we certainly hope so, and hopefully with the two Thursday night games we have, we'll have a lot yeah. of students that will come out there as well. Let's take a look at the highlights. Blazers, let's go. Look at it, yeah. Oh, what a great crowd, loud. It was so nice to get off the bus and see all the folks there lined up along the street and uh, got us awfully excited to start off with. He won the toss, deferred. We deferred. We wanted to uh, kick with the wind there early and I wanted to put our defense out there. They're playing well right now and I wanted to try to get us some field position and they came out and do a good job. You can see them were stuffing the run. Uh, that running back is a very good player. Quarterback's a good player, and of course, they got a very good receiving core. Jamal Clark right there makes a great play. We come out, and this is actually our second series, and they just come in on a blitz off the edge, and we don't protect the ball, and they knock it loose. And uh, fortunately, our defense bows their neck and holds them right here on the goal line stand. They run a quarterback draw here on third down. He has nowhere to go, and we hold them to a field goal. Almost got that one. Now we're coming awfully close on these field goals to blocking them. Here we come back out and we're doing a good job of protection. Throw the ball out there to Scott Palmer in the flat. Getting some yards and then we come right back here and throw the ball underneath to Cedric Jones and he's making people miss. Big third down play here. We load up trips over there to the left, run a curl route. He gets hit a little bit. Said that he goes up high and makes the catch. You watch this right here, and you can see a lot of offensive linemen flying down the field, making blocks. There's Zag. I wish he'd kept his feet. He might have scored right there. Missed the block out wide, but well, Jeffrey Felton does a great job of breaking tackles and getting down the field. End up not scoring there and having to go for a field goal. And unfortunately, Zach Williams comes in, kicks it in, and we tie the game up. That's the way the first quarter ends, three to three. It is. Our, our, again, our defense is just is shutting down. I mean, you look at this. Joel Jones misses the tackle there, forces him wide, and gets back up. He runs down and gets in the middle of the play again. It's just great hustle by our defense. I'm glad that we don't have to play them. I really am. They're, they're a good football team. And here's, here's our man here, Michael Terry. You can see he's working his stiff arm and his power game. Good fit, blip pickup. We throw the ball there to... Cedric Evans makes a, makes a man miss. Big play. Cedric came in and played very well. Spelled Cedric Jones a couple of times. And here's a little formation that we put in this week, putting Ronnie Nelson at quarterback and putting Willie Copeland out wide. And boy, I was very disappointed in this. We had first and goal down there, and we should have put that one in, and we fumbled the snap. That's just something that we can't afford to do. Our defense holds them, forces them to a punt. Guy hits a great punt, great acting job by him. But Roger King goes back and watch all the blocks on this. Great one right there by Kenneth Hale. Sean Weathers right there, Maurice Leggett. And just so many people making blocks. And there's the last one right there with Sean Harris. 61 yard punt return makes it 10 to three by Boston State. And this is where the half will end 10 to three. Another great play there by Kenneth Hill. He's playing with a lot of confidence and playing well. And there's our man, Sherrod Reynolds. He's always around those tip balls. We've got to get him back on the offensive side so he can get those long runs again. He's not breaking tackles like he used to. And here's Zach Parker. And Zach's just a steady player for us. He does a great job. He's sure hands. 
Smart player, great blocking out here on the outside on our screen. R.J. Bastone gets a big run. Right now we're trying to get down. This is late in the second half and we're trying to get down and, and uh, try to put some points on the board. And Cedric Jones does a great job of making the catch, getting out of bounds. And Here's a disappointing play here. We got second down and all we have to do is Rashawn right there. If he just turns up, we got a first down and we got four shots to throw the end zone. We don't get it and we have to go for third down and then we end up missing the field goal right there. And before that, we actually threw a ball in the end zone that was incomplete that uh, R.J. Bastone was wide open and we just didn't finish it off. So I was very disappointed going into the half. Well, we could tell. We had the little quick interview with you going to the locker room. And probably the first time this year going in, even though last week you, you, you may have been the same way, but this week you were really upset, it seemed like. I was because I, I thought that we had a chance to put the game away early and, and really gain momentum, and we didn't do that. We, uh, we, we let them hang around and, and stay in the ball game. All right, take a break and be back with second half highlights in just a moment. Give a little love, and it all comes back to you. You're gonna be remembered for the things that you say and do. Hello, I'm David Erlin with First State Bank and Trust. Now is a great time to consider a home equity line of credit. We've been helping families realize their dreams for 100 years. Let your dreams take shape by using the equity in your home for a brand new kitchen with all the extras you've been wanting. More space, new appliances, new cabinets can make the kitchen the focal point of your home. See First State Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. First State Bank. In today's fast-paced business world, you need equipment that can help you keep up with your needs. You'll find it at Colson Business Systems with a complete line of CopyStar business solutions. CopyStar Systems can copy, print, scan, and fax with all advanced finishing options. CopyStar has all the features and functionality you need for exceptional output and enhanced print capabilities meet serious business. Call or stop by Colson Business Systems today and pick out your new CopyStar. Colson Business Systems, Valdosta's authorized CopyStar dealer. Luann has a knife! Put the knife down. Luann, what are you doing? I'm having lunch from KFC. It's real food, which requires a fork and a knife. It's KFC, people. Have a real meal for lunch. Come to KFC for any of our new $2.99 deals. World-famous chicken, choice of a side, and a flaky biscuit. Grab lunch for just $2.99. KFC chicken now has the same great taste with zero grams of trans fat per serving. Jeffrey Felton, Cordell, Georgia, wide receiver. You're watching the David Dean Show. Go Blazers. Coach, you go to the locker room with a slim 10-3 to lead. We've talked about you being a little bit unhappy with your offense. Defense is playing great. Uh, What's halftime like? I know it varies from game to game, but did, did you maybe have to jump on them a little bit this time, or did you just let them talk it out like they did last week? Well, I jumped on them a little bit. I told them that we wasted a lot of opportunities, that we had a chance to uh, really go ahead and put the game away, and we didn't do it, and I was disappointed in that. And uh, I said, you know, I'm not mad at you, but I'm just disappointed. I want us to play as good as we can play, and we're not doing that right now. The other thing is you, you let a team that you're better than hang around and hang around no matter what sport it is, some, it's going to jump and get you one of these times and, and there's a team that we should have beat and beat handily but you just don't want them to stay close to you. No, the longer you keep them in the game the more confidence that they get and uh, then they all of a sudden they can start believing that they can win and uh, we just didn't want to do that. We wanted to go ahead and put them away and I felt like we could have in the first half and didn't do it. Let's take a look at the highlights. You do get the ball to start the second half, and just like last week, perfect first drive. I think it only took two plays. Two plays. It, it went story. in a hurry. Still two run good. plays, as a matter of fact. Uh, we ran the zone to the right, and then we ran the zone to the left. We caught them in a safety blitz on the second one, and they had no deep support. And it was just a matter of a foot race with Michael Terry. Our, our wideouts did a great job out wide. Uh, making the blocks, they were running guys off. It was a man coverage, so they just kept running them away from the play. You can see them right here. The defensive backs have their backs turned because they have no idea. And Michael Terry splits it and turns his speed on and takes it and runs for a touchdown. 56 yard run. He's got one longer than that coming up here in a little while. And here's the exciting part. 
You can see uh, that's probably a, a big run for him right there, but there's nowhere to go. He's bouncing, going around, and he was very upset here in a, later on. And, and third down and short, and he couldn't get it. And we see Michael Terry running over two people in there. Our offensive line is doing a great job blocking up front. Here's Ronnie Nelson on a big third down. That third down and 11, we ran a little quarterback draw for a first down. Great job again here by Willie, throwing underneath to, to Ronnie again. We end up having to punt on that and break play again. There's Kenneth Hale. He's always around that football, it seems like right now, playing very well. Here's the big third down stop for you, third and short. We stuff him again. He's got too many people around. You can see he's starting to get frustrated now. He can't, uh, he can't find the scene to run through. Kind of an unusual punt formation with the, the widespread and the three guys there tight. And we just went in there and blasted those guys and didn't get a very good kick here. We couldn't field it. I don't know if they were trying to kick away from us after the return. They got a good roll. This is a nice, nice drive coming up here. I think it's on this drive right here where we score again. Yeah, here's a little formation wrinkle. We put Cedric in the backfield. And and great run here by Ronnie. You can see we're breaking tackles and got a face mask call right there. They nicked him down by the face mask. And, well, it scared me there. Just That's just basic stuff. Handoff, security, and, and we're, not, we're not doing it. The ball was on the ground way too many times yesterday. We've got to correct that. And, and here's a big third down play here, throwing to Zach, making people miss, and then Willie just improvises here. He steps up in the pocket, flips the ball there to Cedric Jones, and he wasn't going to be denied. He was getting in that end zone. 21 yard pass, six plays, 73 yards. The score is 24 to three, and, and I think we all feel like we're pretty much in charge of this game. We are. I felt real good because our defense was was shutting down the run. They were, they couldn't throw the ball down the field. Everything that they had to do was underneath, just like that, and we were coming up and. and putting that silver helmet on those guys and playing physical, good, good physical defense. Here's the, probably their other big run they had. Great play there by Everett Kitchens coming up and stopping him before he gets to the first down. And then, oh, what a great play right there. William Monfort almost reached back with one hand to make the, the interception. And then here's Ronnie again, making people miss. Got to do a better job of tucking the ball away. We're letting that ball float around a little bit too much. Here he goes, great man, Make, makes a free safety miss. I mean, you can't see it, but what a great job all our wideouts did blocking right there. You can see those guys running down the field with him. 69 yard touchdown run. That's the final score of the game, makes it 31 to three. Just my, hey, Coach, uh, we're talking about Wachita and West Alabama and Henderson, all these schools. Even though they're still getting, they're, they're better than they have been over the past few years. They're getting, they're starting to come up a little bit. They are, there's no question. I mean, these guys were three and one coming into this game, only losing to Delta State. And uh, you can tell how much better they were. Uh, I remember when we first got in the conference, you know, we were, we were beating them pretty handily. But you know, they're, credit to their staff, they're doing a good job of coaching and they're doing a good job of recruiting and they're getting good players in there. We got a lot of backups in here now, and here's uh, Kerbeen there, a nice little run, and then Donnie Powell making a nice run. Most of our skill guys, we all keep those guys in there, but our offensive line, there's Garrett Cranford and Britt Wilson, and those guys, and there's another great running back we have, Rashawn Robinson. And Thomas Arnold, look at Thomas Arnold's leg drop, just breaking tackle. Another local guy, Cook County. Cook County. David, his brother, plays for Valdosta right now. There's, again, another good run there by Thomas. And I know there's a lot of folks who are disappointed we didn't stick that other one in the end zone, but we had the game in hand, and I just didn't feel like we needed to score another one. Well, you sent three of your starters in there, and it took me a minute to figure out what you were doing. When I saw Parker and a couple other guys, I said, he's not going to try to score. Is he? No, I didn't was, figure it. We wanted to sit on the ball, and actually Coach Knight had a lot of class. He came over and said, Coach, I appreciate you not doing that, not trying to score on us.
Coach, you know, I try not to ever talk about any negative things, but now two weeks in a row, you know, we've, we've talked a little bit. Your offense in the first half just has been – it's just not been there uh, like, like we're used to. Well, now we're getting way too many looks that uh, we're not adjusting too quickly. All right, let's take a break, and we'll come back and take a look at scores from around the conference. I love learning. I believe in service. I am full of passion. I embody sportsmanship. I trust in my resourcefulness. I like balance. That's why I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose. I chose Division Two. No matter how you spend your time, we can help you stay active for many years to come. The world-renowned physicians at the Houston Clinic specialize in the latest technology in the treatment and surgery of all orthopedic injuries and disorders. You'll receive the highest quality of medical care for total joint replacements, spine surgery, hand surgery, and sports medicine through an integrated delivery system of orthopedic and rehabilitative care focused on your optimum health and wellness. The Houston Clinic, a reputation for excellence, a tradition of caring. Works hard, the kids are 10, 6, and 3. Our life together gets a little crazy. So I called Applebee's like I've done before. They brought our favorite foods out to my car door. With Applebee's car side to go, you call it in, we bring it out. Now my wife wants to meet me just as fast as she can. Cause there's something women like about a pickup. Applebee's man. car side to go. It's not fast food, it's Applebee's food fast. A beautiful university. Under the palms and pines of South Georgia. Just above the Florida border. Halfway between Atlanta and Orlando. We are Valdosta State University. Outstanding academics. A showplace for the arts. And the home of champions. Vision. Success. And you. Prepare for your world. By coming to ours. Valdosta State University. Building for our next century. The David Dean Show is also brought to you by the Georgia Lottery, celebrating one million Hope Scholarship recipients. And none of it would be possible without you. Thanks a million, Georgia. South Georgia Medical Center. South Georgia Travel, for all your travel needs. And by First State Bank and Trust Company, serving South Georgia for over 100 years. Welcome back to the Farmers and Merchants Scoreboard and Coach Dean. We're in uh, finished what the second week of the season in the conference. Maybe three games for some teams. Third for some yeah. of them. Most of them, except for us, I believe. Actually, right. let's take a look. Get your thoughts. Uh, Henderson State thirty-seven to seventeen over West uh, Georgia. West Georgia led a long time in that game because we kept getting those scores, but Henderson uh, put some points on them. That was a homecoming game for West Georgia, and uh, I thought that they would play them a little bit tougher, and it sounds like they did, and Henderson State's got a good football team. They were playing without their head coach there because of that right. fight incident. So, And Harding uh, University 36-35 over West Alabama, and West Alabama was, I think, led most of that game. We figured maybe they went for a two-point conversion. It looks like it, uh, you know, that's kind of an odd score, 36. They probably did go for two to win the game it was at West Alabama. I'm really surprised. I really thought West Alabama would be a much improved team. And hopefully, you know, seeing them score 35, they're not getting better as the year's going on. Here's one where I think we were all curious about. North Alabama at Arkansas Tech, 27 to 20. And I told you I was glad it was a close game because it makes our close game look like not a fluke. Well, you can see Arkansas Tech's got a good yeah. football team now. And, you know, a lot of people thought we were just going to walk out there and walk, roll all over those guys. And they're actually a good football team, and they played UNA very, very tough. Arkansas Monticello played out of the conference and got themselves a win. And uh, we'll be going over there, I think, our next to last game of the season. Yeah, that's our last uh, road game. And the conference right now, Delta State, Valdosta State, North Alabama all undefeated, and everybody else has at least won some two losses. So it's, it's really like everybody figured it's a three-team uh, race at this point. It's shaping up that way right now. All right, Dave, we'll take a break, and we'll be back with the State Farm Look Ahead. Hello, I'm Jane Shelton, and welcome to South Georgia Travel. Since 1964, we've been serving your travel needs. Whether considering domestic, Caribbean, European, or something out of the ordinary, we specialize in personalized vacation planning to make sure your vacation is all about you. Whether business or leisure, call us at South Georgia Travel. We're always as close as your phone or visit us on our website. Come see us at 1300 Baytree Road. 
We're going places! These days you can buy more things in more places than ever before. You'd think that would make things simpler. I'd like a venti quad cappuccino. But it just makes it more complicated. That's why at TrustGuard, we still sell our auto insurance through independent agents. It's a far smoother process than buying from a stranger over some 1-800 line. It's good to know what you're buying and who you're buying it from. For insurance and financial services in Valdosta, see State Farm agents Paul Cribbs and Travis Pate. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Mike Cullen, I'm from Roswell, Georgia, playing linebacker, and you're watching the David Dean Show. See you in Florence. Welcome back to the State Farm Look Ahead and Coach Team. We've got an, our second long road trip, uh, early morning flight this coming Saturday to Southern Arkansas. Southern Arkansas, we were just talking, one of the few teams still running the old wishbone offense and. Uh, it's hard to prepare for that in a short period of time, but it's a game also you've always, you've always said that beats you up too because of that offense. It is. The, uh, running the wishbone, you get cut a lot as, a, as a, a defensive player, especially on the defensive line and linebacker. And It's always a tough physical game when you go play them, and it's tough to play the next week after you play them. And What's making it tough is we're going to leave at 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. We'll fly into Texarkana and then bus over to Magnolia, Arkansas. Southern Arkansas has a very good team. They're playing very well. They lost Thursday night to Delta State 28-6. Um, and uh, I'm sure that with the extra two days that they've had to prepare for us, mm -hmm. that's going to make a difference in what they do against us. And you've just got normal preparation. As a defensive coach, what's Coach Cawthon going to do? I mean, you've got basically three, four days to... It's, it's very difficult to get ready for a wishbone team in three days because you don't see it uh, throughout the year. So you have to gear everything away from all your passing that, that you do and all the blitz packages that you have and start working more on assignment football. Somebody's got to take the fullback, somebody's got to take the quarterback, somebody's got to take the pitch man. It's very difficult to defend in three days. And plus you've got a bunch of young guys play on that defense at times and first time most of them probably have ever seen a wishbone. Probably so because so. that's kind of a uh, dinosaur offense now. Not very many people do it. But so the, so the defensive guys going to be pretty busy this week. They will be busy. And you're, you're just going to relax a little bit, I imagine. I doubt yeah. that. I doubt that. We're fixing to face a good defense. Well, it's, uh, it's always a, a good trip over there. We've had great success over there at, uh, at Southern Arkansas. And it's always uh, frustrating to watch that uh, wishbone offense. I'm glad I don't have to broadcast those games because it would drive me nuts oh, I know trying it. to find the football. <laughs> well, congratulations, David, on a great homecoming win. The Blazers remain undefeated. Uh, go 4-0 now uh, overall and 2-0 in the Gulf South Conference. The kickoff for the Southern Arkansas games at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time next Saturday afternoon. So for the head coach, David Dean, I'm Dick Rock. Everybody have a great week.